What's up, Hollywire? We are at South by Southwest, presented by Smirnoff, and we are about to talk to the director of Booksmart, Olivia Wilde. How are you doing? I'm good. How's Austin treating you? Oh, amazing. Austin's the best. I wish we had time to actually hang out. It's the best city. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. I heard you had an awesome dance party. We did. We had the most kick-ass dance party right across the street. Jason said you were the best dancer. No. <laughs> His sister's a professional dancer, so I think she was the best dancer. What was it about this film that made you want to direct it? Oh, I just wanted to embrace the opportunity to show so many different nuanced, funny performances from so many different types of women. I thought, this is rare. There are many movies that feature this many actresses being able to really flex their comedic muscles. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you in there. Yes. Hope you enjoy it. YouTube interviews all the time. I watch you guys on YouTube. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love this necklace, by the way. The, the Booksmart you, necklace? The Booksmart necklace. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So me and Beanie um, got them for Katie Silverman, our writer, and Olivia as our wrap gifts. So the four of us have matching ones, and we all haven't taken them off since we wrapped the movie. <laughs> and we all have them on tonight. Yay! And then did you do anything fun today for the premiere or for Olivia's birthday? Okay, Olivia set up this dance class. We heard about the dance class. Oh my god, I've never sweat so much in my life. It was the best thing to do before a premiere. I I want to like I don't know how that's going to happen the next time I go to a premiere, how I can like schedule that, but it literally was the best experience ever. Ever everyone was like together sweating and dancing. It was actually to the soundtrack of our film, too. So it was the best time. So that's what we did today. I had some ribs. Um, and yeah, we were just hanging out. I was with the cast like all day today. Very cool. So yeah. Jason told us who the best dancer was, but I want to hear, in your opinion, what who was the best dancer? Austin. Austin Crute. He okay. plays Alan in the film. Who did he say was the best dancer? I mean, take one guess. Me. Oh, she's right. <laughs> she's right behind no, you. Olivia. Olivia, yeah, obviously <laughs> Olivia. Obviously. <laughs> Speaking of Olivia, how was it being directed by her? She's an incredible person and sh she has inspired me in so many ways. She's taught me so much, but she just is like, I think she's an incredible actress. And I think the actors are sometimes the best directors because they know how to make an actor feel 100% comfortable. Um, but Olivia put her trust in everyone and I think that's what made an amazing result is that like everyone is so on point I, I mean every character in this film is so on point and so authentic and so specific and it was because Olivia sat down with each of us and kind of had a conversation and and wanted to hear our thoughts and like I in my personal life I play auto harp and I thought it would be really cool for Amy to play the auto harp and Olivia was like we're putting the auto harp in the movie and so now it's in the movie and now I'm playing it in the movie a little what is bit. An auto harp? And, oh an auto harp is like June Carter used to play them um, they're like they have it's like a harp that you rest on your shoulder here and then there's like buttons and then you play here okay. it's really cool it's but really cool and yeah it's actually very easy it's very easy but it's a very cool looking instrument but yeah a lot of people don't know about it and I was like we have to put it in and Olivia was so down but that's how she was with everything she's just very down to try things do you have any other secret talents that maybe your fans don't know about no that's it <laughs> That's all, all I got. That's all I got to offer to this world. <laughs> and then what were you like in high school? Were you the A plus student? Were you the little rebel? I was, um, I, I got pretty good grades. I got to say, I graduated with very good grades, but I was pretty cool about it too. I was a little laid back mm -hmm. and I definitely had my phases. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had a, 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 a very small, not goth phase, but just a very edgy phase where I didn't remove black eyes eyeliner from my face mm -hmm. and it just stayed on and then I also had like a lot of like skulls and crossbones when I was like 15 or 16 that quickly ended because my mom was like you're you, you need to take you 
you should probably remove the black eyeliner. And I'm like, yeah, you were you were always right. Moms are always right. Yeah, <laughs> moms are always right. They right. are. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much.